Hi, welcome. My name is Natalia. I'm a dietitian. I love food. I love feeling well. So I help a lot of people lose weight and feel well and also make peace with food by understanding how food impacts their body, their brain, their health, their energy levels. So a lot of folks that I see actually have a lot of digestive issues and they don't know that that is hindering their weight loss potential. So I explain to them how the gut and their hormones and their brain are pretty much all connected. And that's how we make strides. Of course, they become aware of the habits that are hindering them, like stress eating or boredom eating. A lot of people snack throughout the day because they have an attachment to food or they're just bored or they get a urge. Uh, or an uncomfortable feeling and their reaction is to just grab food because it's tangible, right? You can see food, you can feel food in your lips, you can feel food in your stomach, but sometimes you can't feel the rest that you need at that moment. So the food is the go-to reaction. So I help a lot of folks realize what are some of the habits pretty much on autopilot that are hindering their weight loss or whatever their journey is and I also bring awareness about what is it that they need in that moment and how they can give it to themselves. A very simple example is the breath. Sometimes we breathe very shallow and we're always in the stress response. So it's going to be very difficult for us to really digest foods when we're ready to eat because we need bile and hydrochloric acid and enzymes to be able to digest and metabolize, right? Use the foods that we just ate for energy and burn it or use it to build bone or muscle. So I explain how when we breathe, we calm pretty much our whole system and our gut can actually make the stuff that is going to help you burn the food that you eat. And I also tell people about their gut-brain connection, which is the communication within the brain and the gut. And pretty much it's known that bad feelings and thoughts are going to feed the unhealthy bacteria. A lot of people have more unhealthy bacteria than good bacteria. And that causes a lot of issues like bloating, constipation, and just abnormal bowel movements. And also not the best thoughts. So by feeding yourself in the right way and acquiring mindful um, ways of eating, and that by that I mean eating for the right reasons like hunger or because you know you're not going to be able to eat for a while and you wouldn't want to be starving, that would be a right time to eat. But really centering and tuning into your physical cues of hunger versus these habits being more of autopilot or emotionally eating. So um, if you struggle with any of these issues, you know how to get in touch with me and I would love to be a part of your journey.